Are you happy with that? Yeah. Happy with that break off? Okay. Look how many reds you left me to pop. One, two, three. For that is what red did you hit? The second last. Is that the red you aim for? Or do you aim for the end red? Which one do you go? I aim for the second last. Yeah. So what happens is this red goes closer to the pocket. So if you when you hit the second red, Hitting this red, yeah. it's going this way, the energy is going this way. This red tends to come down here and stop here. Yeah. Because this red, the, the energy from this red has got to go through all these 10 reds. This red doesn't move much. If you hit the end red, the energy is going this way, and it's more of a direct transfer of energy, so this red tends to do that. Mm. So the last red is the option. Yeah, so that red will tend to do that, and then this red will tend to will tend to come up here, go uh, beyond the pink, yeah, and then somewhere between here and here. Yeah. So you will open a few less reds. Doesn't matter though. Because even with end red, you're still going to open four or five reds. That's enough for 40 points, isn't it? Yeah. And after one or two safety shots, there's 10 reds open anyway. Yeah. So let's see you play that again. End red this time. Yeah. Oops. Old habits die hard. But again, look, this red, it hasn't gone away from the yeah. side cushion back into the pack. So you've left it again. This time. So this red is, you see this red is staying high and yeah. it's going deep. Yeah. You haven't really, I mean, you sort of could pop that I suppose. But <clears throat> that's getting better, let's do another one. Until we get bulk cushion speed. to hit the send red thick which will push it past the blue line hmm. even if your white's up here you've still got you're leaving a red in the middle it's also if you play the white from the mid between the two colors yeah. or maybe even next to the brown most pros are next to the brown let's let's do that it would be impossible to get to play that shot that you just played, to play much too thick and leave the white here. So going at least halfway toward the brown reduces the chance of that really, really thick contact and it also, what it also does is, instead of telling you, I'll ask you the question. So, would it be easier to go one, two, three, four to here? Would it be easier to achieve that just with the top spin here? No screw back, no stun. Would it be easier from here or from here? Yeah, of course. 
So the closer you go to the brown, the easier it is to get in here. That's yeah. the lesson. Let's have a go at that. Playing near to the brown. That's all right. So you've hit that one quite thin, actually, but you've still got quite nicely in behind the yellow. Mm. So we have left that there, but it's higher than it was before. It was yeah. down here before. Let's do it again. <laughs> well, that's a good way of playing the break. If you can do that every time, you'll get pros queuing up to get coaching off you. So, what we can do now is, because we've, we came in here, didn't we? That means you don't need quite so much side. Yep. With a brand new cloth, have you played on new cloths before yeah. where the, it slides more, doesn't yeah. it? So if this cloth was new, the white probably would have finished here. So the older the cloth, the less side you need, which makes the maining maybe a little bit easier. Touch that side. Terrible. That was just a little bit thin on the contact. But that's understandable because it's the first time you're doing this. Pretty good. A bit more speed. What you can do is when you that's another good break off. What you can do is when you're Think you're playing safe. Yep. Obviously, you've always got to be on the cushion. Yep. Most players are just playing somewhere in bolt. That's not good enough. You need to be underneath this cushion. Yes. Yeah, and choose the best point on the cushion to land as well. What you can do is some players land tend to land a bit short off the short of the bolt cushion. So what you can do in your mind, you can say the target is to go one cushion, two cushions, three cushions, four cushions, and just imagine that you're going four cushions and making a cannon here. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you, you kind of, you're not scared of hitting the bolt cushion then. Have a go at that on this uh, next break off. take time playing from a different cue ball position and changing the amount of side and hitting a different red it will take a little bit of time just to redial it in. Plenty of time there.
just move that yellow about ten halfway between the cushion and the brown from there directly to the brown yeah okay a little bit further back toward you a few inches right so now I want you to go one two three four cushions and hit the yellow. hit the yellow yeah. You come to a stop in a controlled way and begin the delivery in a controlled way as well.